Hello everyone. In my previous video, I have discussed about bootstrap container and fluid container, difference between them and how to use them. In this section, I'm going to talk about bootstrap row, the second building block of bootstrap layout. Row is a group of horizontal columns. When I say group of horizontal columns, that means a row contain multiple column inside it a row always come inside a container or a container fluid that means whenever you are creating a row it should come under a fluid container or either container third things a row always include column inside it to create a structure we follow structure like that container first row after that and column after that that means the top level will be container inside that row and inside that are column. A row contain multiple columns or either a single columns. Importance of using row is that it take minus 15 pixel margin from left and right so that you can get rid of the container padding that is 15 pixel. I'll show you in my example. This is my example. I have just created a heading and paragraph tag inside a container fluid I'll just show you my code this is my container fluid inside that I put heading tag and a paragraph tag and it's showing 15 pixel padding from left and right so now I will create I will create a row here and close this row and now I'll just cut the entire data and we'll put inside the row. Let's see what happened. So now you can see that the 15 pixel padding is not there. That is a container default paddings because a row takes minus 15 pixel margin from left and right. So our Padding of 15 pixel is now equal to our screen size. So now your default structure look like this. So what is the importance of using this row is we'll talk about in our next video that is bootstrap column.